here I am in the castle and I've built a I'm going to show you two things real quick one is a bunch of R boxes here that I put on this table and so actually that is what I'm going to show you today is the R boxes on the table in the castle hall okay um I have three objects and three R boxes. I'm going to do Alt F6. I'm going to go to Object and I'm going to go to uh, Sculpture S C U L. I believe it's seven and Enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this sculpture so that you can see it. Okay, I'm going to put it up in the air. So this is one sculpture piece. Okay, you can move objects around in the F6 editor. You cannot move R boxes in the F6 editor. That distinction will become clear as we go through it real quick. Alt E. Um, you saw those three things kind of floating in the air there. Those were my three objects. Okay. I'm going to center here. I'm going to Z to go in. And I'm going to turn on my grid. I kind of always do. And one more time to Z. Now, do you see this three circles here? Okay. These three circles are my objects. So if I go over to the object panel and if i go down there's object 29 that is the texture is called ruins 09 and that is a model okay when i right click on ruins 09 it comes up as a md2 a model okay so let's get out of that all right, so what I've done is taken a ruin thing, which is a rock, and I have brought it in as an object. Okay, over here are my R boxes. They are domains. Okay, so when I go down here, this shows the little R boxes that I created as domains. They're all named Sculpture 1. Sculpture 2, Sculpture 3, Sculpture 4. I can change the color of my R boxes, but I cannot change their location. The only way I can change their location is here in the editor panel. 